everybody um today we're doing a whole new hair transformation now y'all we are on month we're coming up on five months since I shaved my head. This is what we're working with at this point. I've spent the last couple of months shaving the bottom, letting the top grow out, and just kind of like shaping it. Now my hair is too long to pull forward without me looking like a cartoon character, but brushing it back also isn't exactly the move because it doesn't stay down. And I'm also sick of the color, so we have a lot to do. Let's get into it. First off, we're gonna do a little bleach wash. So I'm just gonna use my leftover lightener that I got when I was in school. This company is not vegan, not cruelty free. Sad to hear, um, which is why I'm using up the rest of it and I'm saying goodbye to this company. Boo, bad company. I'm gonna be using 20 volume. Not as damaging as a higher volume, but still damaging and that's just how bleach works so this is a two to one ratio with the developer i'm not trying to do a full fresh bleaching so i'm going to add in some of my olaplex number four shampoo this will make it more of a bleach wash we're going for less damage and just a quick lightening of the hair that's already been bleached i haven't washed my hair in probably like five days which is perfect because that means less damage Ugh! I'm a little nervous about this. I want to be thorough, but I don't want it to hit my roots. I'm just gonna throw it on there. We are pretty covered. Just want to brush it through and make sure the very ends of my hair are covered. Listen, I'm over this copper color. I thought it looked good right away, and now that it's fading, I'm like, meh. I will be cutting my hair too, but you know what? I might as well, might as well bleach first, okay? Because whatever's damaged on the very ends, gonna be damaged. I'll cut it off anyway. I don't care. I'll just cut it right off. I just really want to make sure I didn't miss any spots. Now I'm not gonna let this sit for very long. Oh my god, I just got a whole mess of that on the floor. This is lightening pretty fast, so I'll probably just wait a couple more minutes and then we'll rinse it. I'm gonna shampoo, but I'm not gonna condition so that we are prepped and ready for color. See y'all in a second. Well, this color isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but I couldn't stand the bleach on my hair any longer. <laughs> Whatever, I'll deal with this after, but next up, we gotta fix up the bottom. I have a number two on my clippers right now, so... Let's just get into it. Let's just go for it. Doing the back is so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard to do the little V in the back, but every time I feel so accomplished. <laughs> I'm gonna be using Canra Colors 7AA, which is medium blonde ash, ash, double ash. Okay, I hope it covers, but something deep in my soul tells me that my hair is not a seven. It might be a little darker. I think it is a little darker, but we're gonna go with it anyway. <laughs> we're gonna go with it anyway. And we'll just see what happens. I hope it's fine. <laughs> I hope it's fine. <laughs> There's always a little trial and error when I'm doing my own hair. The red just seemed like such a good idea for so long, and now I kind of miss when it was that like gray, ashy blonde. Like that was a move. Thankfully, I'm not allergic to this, so this could stay on my head for as long as it's supposed to. One of that. And then a one to one ratio with Kenra's 10 volume for permanence. One of that. Do y'all have any suggestions of what hair color I should do next? Let me know. I'm on a kick with the naturals. I really am. I did bright colors for so long and I'm still coloring my hair, but <laughs> yeah, let's just go for it. If it doesn't cover the like orange copper color I have, I will be sad, 
there is like a high possibility that it might not but whatever we'll just see what happens right most important part we got to comb through it and make sure that everything's covered I'm only halfway. Wow, perfect amount. It's like someone here went to school or something. <laughs> Any comb excess, I'm just gonna throw right on top. And so it doesn't dry out in the next 30 minutes. That's right. I don't know how well this color is going to come out, but I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see in 30 minutes for me, but two seconds for you. <laughs> well, I'm a little nervous because it still looks red toned here, but not so much on the ends. <laughs> well, we'll see how it looks <laughs> in a second. This is my third time growing out a shaved head. Um, the first two times though, I didn't do any styles. I just kind of let it grow, which was fine. It worked. There was about like two months or so that I just wanted to, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to wear hats all the time. Um, this time I didn't want to wear hats. I want to be able to actually style my hair. So that's why I'm like trying to perfect the ultimate the ultimate grow out is what I'm doing. So, there we go. A little point cutting. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's been a couple months now that I've had this like short underneath, longer on top look but I just want the top to get longer and longer. Then I essentially have like an undercut, which is cool with me. If you don't know what an undercut is, it's when the top is long and the bottom is shaved short. I think that would be really cool. I've never had one before, so like why not now? I'm just brushing out the sides, holding it like this, and I'm cutting, cutting up. Cutting up, but I'm not like going with the shape of my head, right? We don't want harsh lines out here. We just don't. Once I start cutting my hair, I can't stop. I'm gonna wet my hair again. And now I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Mousse. The more the better. I'm just gonna rake that right through my hair. While my hair air dries, I'm just gonna do a little tiny bit of makeup. At the end of the day, the makeup that I prefer the most, even if I'm like not wearing any makeup, would be mascara. And I gotta fill in the brows. I just have to, especially because I'm rocking this eyebrow slit. Gotta fill it in. Since my hair is still wet, I'm just gonna grab my little attachment for my blow dryer. And we're gonna keep it on low and low heat. Oh my goodness, I am so obsessed. Y'all, check it out. I finally got the shape back to my hair. The top is growing even longer. I probably just have to keep this up for a little bit longer, maybe like two more months or so. Do I have to keep this side shorter and then I can just start letting it grow out? And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Styling my hair and cutting it in different shapes like as it grows is very new to me. And especially myself being the one doing it, shook. But I hope this can help some of you with your shaved heads, you know? Or maybe you just like my haircut and you just want it. And now you know how I did it. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below, y'all. If you wanna see more of me, subscribe. You can always click the follow button. You really can. Just saying. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.